Hello guys, welcome to Auto Geek World. You got the review of the all new Pulsar 180 full. Let's get started. Well, you all guys know about the glory that Pulsar carries, and this bike is no exceptional. Has a design that never gets dated, still looks good. Carrying a masculine stance due to the immense success, Bajaj gave it a black look with white alloy wheels, giving it a distinctive look and a red long stripe on the tank extension and the tail. Coming on to the engine, it has a 178cc air-cooled carbureted DTSI engine producing a max power output of 16.7 bhp at 8500 rpm and max torque of 14.22 Nm at 6500 rpm. It is a very grunty engine giving you the power to pull with acceleration. The gear shifting is also smooth, you can feel it. Engine sound is also good. The handling part. The bike is very agile and will be in your control and you will love to drive it in whatever the condition it is. The seat comfort is not too hard nor too soft, has a split seat setup and has some cool features like fuel warning indicators, low oil and battery indicator, a clock with trip meter. The bike weights around 145 kg which is okay pretty much okay and uh, the seat height is 790mm which is good for average height and tall persons. Short heighted riders may have a bit problem in putting their legs. It has a double cradle chassis for rigidness and giving you the confidence in cornering and uh, different different kind of roads and the suspension will deal with telescopic forks up front the regular ones and the 5-way adjustable nitrox suspension at the rear and has a ground clearance of 165mm so bumps and potholes can easily be taken down and the speed breakers also. Well, coming on to the brakes, it adores a 260mm disc up front and a 130mm disc at the rear. Both do good job and has good stopping power but uh, the rear one doesn't have that much. But I miss ABS, if added it would be a great deal but it's all okay. Well, onto the tires, the wheel size is 17 inch, white alloys, the front tire is 90 by 90 and the rear one is 120 by 80, uh, could have expected a fatter tire. Both are tubeless and has good quality and good grip in the bad roads also.
onto the tank capacity which is 15 liters which is pretty good uh, it could easily return you like 45 to 48 kmpl and gives you the overall riding range of around 680 kilometers in the city it returns overall good mileage and you can also do some long stretches on the highways Coming on to the price, it is priced around 83,000 rupees and it is well priced between the 150 and the 200 cc bikes. Well, the bike is a well around package providing you the power for racing to the highway cruising to normal day city traffic. So what do you, I think about the bike? Well, it is a very easy going bike and a good bike. So you can have a look at it in the nearest Bajaj showroom. Bye bye. Thank you for watching our video. Do subscribe our channel for more videos like this and press the bell button so that you will always be notified at first. Hit the like button, do share with all your friends and comment to us.